Price tag of $1,000 per XRP. A four to five digit XRP seems inconceivable, unbelievable, just hard to believe for many out there. But I've got someone here today, guys, that talks about how honestly, if you've been around long enough and see the things that we've seen, it's not that hard to believe. I want to talk to you about that, get you some updates and more. All I ever ask is if you do like talking about XRP and Ripple, drop an X in the comment section, smash that like button and share the video. Let others know what is truly happening in this digital revolution is I first want to start right here guys good morning crypto puts about 10 catalysts coming to XRP on our radar he says the coming catalysts for XRP are insane tokenization real world asset narrative now we know that is going to be a big narrative of this upcoming bull run not so bullish here today as there's a lot of spooked folks out there in the market due to some whale transfers and things like that but tokenization is coming our way. XRPL, the XRPL is slated perfectly to be a mover in this industry. Now, USA partnership announcements. I think this is going to be much bigger than many anticipate or think right now because what we have now is a Bitcoin election, essentially. The first Bitcoin slash crypto election as both candidates are becoming pro crypto. Now, Biden's not coming out and directly saying that like Trump but he's realizing that Trump's going to use that as a fighting weapon to fight in this upcoming election. Either you're pro crypto or you lose about 33% of U.S. voters as 33% of U.S. voters, this came out here today, saying that they weigh candidates Bitcoin and crypto views. If you're anti-crypto, it's going to be much harder to win this fight. Now, also XRP ETF filings and approval. Some people are pro, some people are anti. Uh, what I will say is either way, this industry still still does work a lot off of hype and uh, this is perfect marketing this is going to help institutions open their eyes to the possibility of the digital asset space get their eyes on xrp now ripple ipo ripple stable coin uh, i cannot wait now i don't know about all you guys but i am very eager i'm very in excited and anticipating the ripple stable coin rlusd this is going to be a big driver for xrp as well this is going to bring liquidity to the ecosystem. This is going to help us get in further with the institutions and the big banks that aren't extremely familiar with crypto, but are pretty familiar at this point with stable coins. We know that likely this year we will have stable coin regulation as well as full clarity, institutional sales. We are going to see what comes of this case in I believe 60 to 90 days. As I've told you guys, we're right around the corner. Seven years of accumulation below all time highs. Don't have to beat this one up. I think we've all seen the chart at this point. Looks very similar back in 2017. We all know what happened thereafter. Major XRPL updates and amendments. XRPL adoption growing. Relisted on all exchanges worldwide. XRP also has a unique advantage as the only digital asset with legal clarity in the USA. We must not and cannot forget that. Now, what's your price prediction, he says, of 2024? Peak price prediction for XRP. Let me know in the comment section below yours as well. Now, again, guys, Anthony Pompolino. If you think that Bitcoin went on a tear once CNBC and institutional investors learn about it, just wait until they discover Ripple XRP. And that's what I'm talking about. Chatter is happening right now in regards to ETFs. Chatter is happening right now into going into this election with regulatory clarity on the hill there talking crypto, whether you're pro crypto or anti crypto. And fortunately for us, things are turning extremely bullish. Now, as we get into this, XRP will never hit $1,000, right? That's what many say. Well, for anyone spreading such ridiculous FUD, says Barry C, I keep one important thing in mind, BTC. $330 in 2016, no one thought that it would get to 73K. Ethereum, $10, 2017, no one thought it would reach 4,000. Litecoin, $2.90, you get the idea, went to 400. Solana, 60 cents to 260. Doge, I actually know someone that retired off Doge, I think I've shared that with you all in the past, was at one point a fraction of a penny. 
0.0002 in 2016 went on to run up to 73 cents thereafter with Elon. XRP was sitting at a fraction of a penny, two zeros and a six, 2017. Who would have thought that it would reach $3.80? No one. So the people making these confident claims that XRP will never move in price, clearly you do not understand how crypto works. Those of us that have been in this, seasoned vets that have been in this for years and years, have seen crazy things. I believe we are going to see more crazy things happening as now we have institutional interest, right? We are having institutions come out, big buyers coming in this market, that type of money we just simply have never seen. And he says, and we clearly have, they clearly haven't been in crypto long enough. The charts don't lie. The way the market is going doesn't lie. The benefit in accumulating when either people don't know enough about crypto or outright hate crypto holding for the long term until you make life changing gains, we will see explosive price action with XRP. And I believe that we just have to have fortitude to hold on to it until the time comes. And yesterday I talked about how, guys, this is just so easy. Holding XRP is the easiest thing in the world. It feels hard at times, but if we can just wait for the fireworks, that's all we have to do. Holding digital assets is the easiest thing one can do. Forbes putting Team Ripple is putting a stake in the ground. Now, I want to pull up this. The victory certainly contributed momentum to the effort to pass FIT21. I think we can all agree and attest to that. Ripple is one of the top funders of Fair Shake Pack. Team Ripple is putting a stake in the ground. Now, listen to this. The victory certainly contributed to momentum to the effort to pass FIT21, and it burnished Garlinghouse's heroic profile among among grassroots army of crypto supporters who have mobilized not only to fight the SEC, but influence the 2024 election. Even if you are not holding XRP, even if you are anti-XRP and the use cases and utility that XRP is going after and the solutions they are providing, which quite frankly, I don't know how anyone could be against that. But even if you are anti-XRP, you should be rooting on XRP because with XRP, we got further clarity in this market it is helping open eyes to regulator it is helping move this industry along. Ripple has fought the good fight. They have not just helped XRP succeed. They are helping the crypto industry succeed. I believe everyone right now should be pro Ripple, pro XRP, even if you do not hold. Now, going back to the $1,000 target, obviously very lofty. And even this per person put, Mr. Nobody put, but what about market cap, brew? Doesn't matter. ETH has no cap on total supply, though. Apparently, it only matters when it comes to XRP because so many people talk about the market cap. Guys, this is a market. This is an emerging market. We've never seen what it can truly do, what it's fully capable of. Institutions are piling in. Money is piling in. The floodgates are open. We have an XRP token that has a finite amount of supply out there opposed to something like Ethereum that doesn't. And we've seen what the prices of Ethereum has done at $10 in 2017, all the way to $4,000. Guys, I believe we have extremely, extremely high price targets for XRP coming to us. Now, it doesn't always seem that way on the day-to-day. -day. It is hard. But as Barry C. put, if you can have a little bit of fortitude to hold on until that time comes, we will win. That's all I got for you for now, guys. If you don't mind clicking that like button, subscribe button, drop an X. I'm going to put a pinned comment with my Telegram Team X there. We talk about XRP and crypto all day, every day. We'll see you all in the next one.